Hi, Chip Waters here. I want to share with you some really exciting uh, new things I found out about uh, facilitating using iPad. This is an app called New Notes that I'm using on my iPad, uh, and I'm using it in conjunction with my Mac. Uh, I'll explain that a little bit, but New, New Notes is great because, first of all, it's a vector drawing program, and that gives us the ability to, uh, once you draw something, you can uh, you can do things like like I'm doing right here, changing the size and the, the aspect ratio. Uh, it's got a straight line drawing tools. It's got an eraser tool. Uh, so you can uh, very quickly draw uh, sketches, uh, text. You can resize text after you draw it. Um, some of the more interesting things is that you have multiple pen widths. Uh, you have also uh, many different colors that you can uh, choose for your pens. Um, uh, you can group objects, vector objects, and then with that you can create templates. You can cut, copy, and paste just about anything. Uh, it's a super large canvas, so you just keep extending out, out, out as you draw. You've got different shapes and lines, which we'll talk. We'll show a little bit later. You can import pictures, which again we'll demonstrate, and, and you can even take a camera picture. Here I'm showing you how I copy and paste a star to uh, create the list, and then I'm, I'm moving things around, and I've resized the cool features and created some lines, and I've copied and pasted those and erased a little area over here. Has uh, multiple undo, which is uh, great for uh, making mistakes, <laughs> which we all do. Um, uh, one of the big issues, though, is, is when you're trying to draw on an iPad, you know, how do you get it so that other people see it? In particular, how do you get it so other people see it who aren't in the room? Uh, it's one thing to hook it up to a projector, but it's another thing to hook it up uh, with, like, GoToMeeting or WebEx. Here we are, by the way, input, importing some images. Uh, what you're seeing is exactly what the people watching the facilitation would see. It's a little sped, sped up. But it's exactly the same thing. I'm drawing all this, as I said, on the iPad using New Notes. Here, I drew this little character off on the side and brought him in. Uh, and uh, I can mirror him, which is what I just did right there. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, all these, all this is being done on the iPad. So, so here's the here's the trick to uh, being able to share your iPad with your Mac. First of all, let's draw an iPad. These are round rectangle tools that are available. They're primitives in New Notes. I can take those and uh, rotate the text and group it and rotate the whole thing and skew it and create a little picture of an iPad, which is what I've just done. Um, uh, then I uh, can also import an image. Uh, I'm bringing it down. I'm drawing on top of it. Uh, I am uh, using this Mac lap book as kind of a template. I can change the line weights uh, around the edge of it, give it a heavy black outline kind of look, and group all of that, uh, and then uh, position it where I where I want it. Okay. Um, one of the interesting things about using New Notes with uh, the Mac uh, is that it, it works differently than it would in a, in a whiteboard, uh, meaning that because you have all these other features, you find that you use it in a different way. So here's what I'm showing. I'm showing that we're actually being able to send from New Notes directly into Air Server, uh, uh, right into the Mac via a Air Server. We're sharing the actual screen, which is pretty cool. So uh, Air Server is a little app, maybe 15 bucks that you get that you can uh, use uh, on the uh, 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 that you install on the on the Mac, and then you have uh, the, then you can share virtually any app that you have on the uh, on your iPad. So you can you can use it with things other than New Notes. You could use it with brushes or or any other app, one of your favorite apps that you want to draw on. I particularly prefer New Notes as you can imagine. So we're using Apple's built-in AirPlay to do all this. And uh, it's pretty cool. So how does this work in kind of a meeting environment? Well, ideally you'd have a Mac hooked up to a projector for a local meeting. Um, and then you'd have uh, uh, some guy that has an iPad. Uh, and that will be your facilitator. And he'll be using, again, New Notes or whatever application. Uh, the Mac will be running Air Server. And so the iPad will be, you'll be able to see the iPad's screen on the Mac. Uh, and that will be projected through the, through the projector onto a screen. So the facilitator, as we're showing here, uh, does all the drawing. And the Mac is what's sharing it through the projector. 
as well as uh, sending it over the internet using GoToMeeting or WebEx or something like that. So uh, for others, so um, so in that case, you have another person sitting in a remote destination who is actually watching the GoToMeeting and they're seeing the actual drawing, the same drawings that they're they're viewing in the other room, uh, the other destination. They're seeing the iPad drawings showing up on their screen. Uh, and using again WebEx or GoToMeeting, so it's really kind of a neat, uh, 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 neat tool. For the first time, I'm able to actually draw in WebEx in these kind of virtual meetings. I'm actually able to draw using my iPad uh, and whatever apps I, I want to draw on. Um, uh, so, another thing I might mention is this is great new pen or stylus, I should say, for for the iPad that I've used them all, and man, this thing is incredible. Uh, it's uh, called the Tune Pencil Draw Pro. It's got a little clear disc, so it's extremely accurate. You can you see it, there's actual point on the actual uh, uh, on the actual tip of of the stylus, and it's got a little clear disc. And you can you can <laughs> it's amazing how accurate you can draw on iPad. I highly recommend if if you haven't seen this, consider buying one of these things. I've got I've had I've got them all. I've got the the Wacom ones and all the others. Uh, all the other ones, the Pogo Stick one, and and this by far is the best. Um, so uh, anyway, I just wanted to uh, show everybody a little bit about how easy it is now to capture a facilitation on the iPad. Uh, in this particular case, what I did is I just hooked this up and I, I captured it using uh, Camtasia on the Mac, uh, and then I exported it from Camtasia to iMovie and I sped it up about. Uh, a thousand percent I think or maybe 800 percent something like that it's been up quite a bit as you can tell but uh, uh, it works pretty good um, it's not a, a, a well scripted well recorded video scribe but it does uh, I think it it, 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 it uh, helps to com communicates pretty well for what what is what it's doing and really the big secret there is that using air server uh, being able now to uh, capture this kind of stuff directly on your Mac is is huge. It's just huge, and uh, uh, just you know, have to say that I'm really really impressed with this this workflow. Thanks.